Hey friends, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. Today I have a collective haul for you guys and it's filled with the bottoms that I've picked up within the past like month and a half. So excited to share this with you guys because as I've told you before, I'm building my capsule wardrobe. So I've been really intentional with all the things I'm buying this year. In the past month and a half, I've spent a little under 200 on bottoms. Within this entire haul, you'll see everything I've spent from all the different stores that I picked up from. So with that being said, if you would like to see this collective haul of a bunch of bottoms that I picked up since like February or so, then just keep watching. Okay, so first pant, you guys that have seen my vlog have already seen this pant. So these are my new leather pants from Zara. I got these on sale, they were $8. And they were the only ones in my size in a size 12. So I'm really happy with these. They don't fit perfectly. They're, they are like a little bit big on my waist, but I figured at least they fit like the rest of my body. I'm probably gonna see if I can get them tailored and taken in a little bit. But if not, I might just wear them baggy and loose like as is. I feel like it's still very cute and like very like fitting on my body in the correct way. Next pair of pants I got for my capsule wardrobe are a pair of black straight jeans. So I've been looking and like looking high and low for a pair of black straight jeans because I just felt like this was a staple that I really needed for every day. So I got these from Shein. These are, um, they're a little bit washed, so they're not like a, like a jet black, which I like because I feel like they go with everything and that way I can wear them in the daytime, wear them at night, and they always kind of look good just depending on what I wear them with. And these were only 22. So this is pretty good to me. I feel like it's very hard for me to find pants that fit me and especially pants that I don't need to go get tailored or something, something like I don't need to wear a belt with. Like that's like impossible. That's like never, like I never see that. So to me, very goodbye. I was really happy to find this on Shein. And I think like it was kind of just like a stroke of luck because I don't really have good luck with pants on Shein, but these ones fit me like a glove. So I was so happy about these. So oh, for the next pair of pants that I got in my new capsule wardrobe was a pair of printed jeans. So I got these printed jeans from Fashion Nova. And I got these because I honestly saw this one outfit, like on, I think it was on TikTok. I saw this one outfit, it was a green top with like green printed pants. And I kind of thought to myself, I don't have anything but black or like blue pants. Like I don't have anything that's not black or blue. Like I only have dark colors for pants. So I figured why not throw a wild card in the mix? So I got these pants. These are a size 13 and I got them for about 28. So they were a little bit like pricey, I guess, but like still $30 is really not too bad for this kind of pant and it fit me really well. Um, I decided to get a size 13 just because when I see a printed pant, they typically don't have stretch. You know, you don't wanna wear like a like a material that's going to wear out like your, basically your pattern on your pan is gonna make it look not like very good and low quality. So I kind of anticipated that this pant would be very rigid and that it wouldn't fit like in a stretchy way. So I sized up and got a size 13 and it was perfect. And it does actually have some stretch to it. So it's perfect. Like it's a really good material. For 28, I think that's a really good deal. So the next pant I got for my new capsule wardrobe was a straight washed jean. So I wanted like a straight washed jean that was kind of shredded because I figured this is something that I can wear in like a versatile manner. It'll be perfect for when I go on vacation, but also like when I'm in town, I can wear it to brunch or like I could wear it out at night, even though it's light wash, like because of the shreds, it'll look kind of like nice and like different. Sorry, there's like a lash like touching my forehead and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, I think I got it, but yeah. So these pants, light wash shredded jeans. I figured this is also something that I think is kind of like, it reminds me kind of 2000s fashion. I feel like 2000s fashion was really like shredded ripped pants and like the really like almost flared straight jeans, but like kind of like mid high rise. So I really liked this because I felt like something like a plain white tee, like with some oversized glasses would look super cute with these, um, with these jeans. Like I'm just so excited to wear these. These are from Fashion Nova, as I said. These are a size 11, and these were about $28 as well. 
So the reason I got a size 11 in these is because after reading through the reviews, it seemed like everyone said it had a really big like stretch factor. Like it was super duper stretchy and it did like, it was described as like high stretch, but you know, like I don't trust, I don't trust what like the brand says sometimes. Like I want to see what the people say and everyone that bought this pants said that it was really stretchy. So I decided to size down and I'm so happy I did because they fit me so well and I don't need to wear a belt. I don't need to get them like taken in and they're just perfect and they're still like cinched on the waist. So I'm so excited to wear these pants. The next thing I got from Fashion Nova was a ribbed legging. So I got these ribbed leggings. You can see them. They're nice and they're black and they're pretty high stretch. I got these in a size extra large and these were about $28 as well. So this one I can honestly say is definitely overpriced. Like, I I just wanted this legging. I thought it was really cute, but I, I can't think of a reason why it's $28. I don't think it should be $28, but whatever. But either way, it's a super nice legging. I'm really happy because since it's ribbed, I, um, I'm always afraid when I wear leggings that they're gonna be see-through. And I really wanted a legging that I could wear with a nice top, maybe out to dinner, like with some heels. And I figured like, if I get leggings, I need to have ones that look like high quality. And I feel like ribbed, like knit rib, always looks like, it just, it gives like that little something. So I was really happy to get these. I think I might go ahead and get a second pair just to keep, just because like I'm, I'm someone that likes to wear things a lot and I'm a creature of habit. So I know I'm gonna wear these into the ground. So I might just go ahead and get a second pair, but they're also $28. So, you know, it's up to you, but I got them. So I don't, I don't know what to say, but they're definitely overpriced. So the last thing I got from Fashion Nova is what I'm calling my festival pants. I got these black pants that have like a tie at the top, if you can see that. And they're just long and flared. So I got these pants in a size large and these were about $22. So first thing, I should have got a size XL. Even though these pants fit me and like they're not like ripping or like hard to pull up, I'm just like a little self-conscious that they're a little see-through. So I kind of wish I got a bigger size just so there was more fabric to stretch, you know? But then secondly, $22. I don't know. I think that's a lot. I think that's expensive. I don't think this garment is worth 22. Either way, it's a nice piece of clothing. It's something that I really wanted, kind of looking forward into the summertime. I feel like I never really had like airy pants to wear in the summer. And it's always great to get like a shredded jean and like a cargo pant. But like, I really wanted like something I can literally wear to a festival. <laughs> Cause last time I went to a festival, I was like, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> I don't know what to wear. So I'm happy I have these. And these will also be nice for like vacation. So like something I can put on if we're going to the beach, like this is perfect to put on on top of a bikini. And also like, the V on the waist is really flattering. <laughs> so I just feel like it's nice because you can wear it with a t-shirt, but you can also like wear it as if it's like, like vacation wear in a way. So for the last piece of my collective haul, I got some more workout leggings. So I'm really trying to build my active wear kind of wardrobe this year. I feel like I don't have a lot of cute clothing when it comes to working out and lounging and staying at home. So it's definitely something that is on my to-do for building my capsule wardrobe. Cause one thing I want as well as things to always, you know, I always want things to go out and to wear, but I also want to always feel cute and like nice when I'm in my house. And that's something that I never really cared about before, but now like I actually care about it. I think like it's really nice to have cute clothes to stay at home in. And I really want to, you know, amplify that and really do that for myself. Same thing with working out. like. I never cared about what I worked out in. And I think that's just like a symptom of being an athlete. Like you work out in cutoffs and like you work out in like basketball shorts. Like you never really care about it, but I never really bought fully into the idea of having aesthetically pleasing workout clothes, but now I am, <laughs> now I'm turning and now I'm like, okay, no, it feels really good to work out in a pair of pants that like fit you like a glove and like are like bomb, like they're so cute. So, I got these workout leggings from Amazon. So I got these in a black and I got them in a gray, but um, the gray is in the wash or else I would show you guys, but I showed you in um, my last vlog, I believe. So if you wanna see how those look, but either way, I got the same pant in a black and a gray. I haven't worn to the gym yet. 
but I'm like so excited too because they fit really well. And I also feel like they just like, they cinch really well on the waist so you feel really protected. When I worked out in the gray ones, I was able to like do sprints and do like my whole workout and I wasn't like pulling at my pants like I usually am. Even though like I kind of, I felt myself subconsciously doing it. I realized like the pants did not budge, like they did not slip down. They did not like, you know, get all like messed up because I ran. And like, that's something really hard for me. Like it's so hard to find workout leggings that do not slide down. So these were fantastic. I'm honestly <laughs> gonna go back to these and get more colors because I know that they fit and I love them. So, and also they came in two days. So sometimes I'm like, oh, he always gets my money, but yeah. I forgot to mention those leggings were $25 each. So they were a little bit pricey, but I figured like I've never really thought to invest in workout leggings and I think it's time to. So I think it's worth the investment, even though 25 is a little pricey for each. So I got them for $50, but um, I think it's worth it because they're really high quality and they felt great when I worked out. So that is it for this collective haul. I'm definitely going to continue buying new bottoms for my, um, you know, my capsule wardrobe and continue to build that out. But I'm very happy with the methods that I've been taking and being a lot more intentional with the things that I'm buying. So I'm not just like accumulating clothes, but instead building a wardrobe with stuff that I really love. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other stores you would like to see me shop from. I'm definitely trying to expand and diversify the places that I shop from, but I'm also, you know, very wary of buying something that I don't like. So if you're looking to try a place, I'm down to try it too. And let's build our capsule wardrobes together. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And I will see you guys next time.